Bonjour, je voudrais une chambre s'il vous plaît pour l'épisode 7 de The Vampire et Blacky, yo Ah, et on va commencer direct avec elle parce que la dernière fois ça m'a intrigué. Good evening, Miss Why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I, I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal I... I find interesting. Ah. Do you plan to make him a vampire too? Of course not. How could I inflict my curse on anybody else? I'm not that cruel, Doctor. Would you say you and Mr. Elwood are romantically involved? No. No, Thomas is a delicate soul. <laughs> Even though he disguises it. But I am not the woman he needs. <laughs> no, for I am a vampire doctor. Je ne suis pas sûr. Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? I have no need for your medicine. Ok, j'ai compris. I'll leave you. Ok. Euh, bah toi je crois que de toute façon je peux plus rien faire avec toi me semble parce que le truc ça m'a bloqué euh, Disrequi ouais mais je peux plus le, je, je peux plus le débloquer l'indice C'est con ça quand même qu'on qu puisse plus euh, redébloquer des indices euh, derrière Putain mais le bug des directions mais ça me casse les couilles Bref Cassos Ah attends avant euh, il est là Oh une caisse que je peux ouvrir Super. Eh, dis-moi toi. Eh, psst. Eh, psst. Good evening. Good evening, doc. Ouais, ouais, good evening, good evening. T'as des trucs sympas Non. T'as des trucs sympas Oui, mauvaise réputation. Oui, d'ailleurs, t'as une mauvaise réputation. Comment je la garde de haut My god, quoi. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. Ouais, je comprends. I'd like wise choice. Alors, je veux euh, ça, je t'en achète un. 32, putain, ça coûte vraiment cher. Quoi. Euh... Je vais te prendre ça aussi. Et euh, ça aussi. Pour le reste, euh, je m'en fous. Qu'est-ce que je pourrais te vendre C'est tout. Je peux lui vendre des balles limite. Attends, c'est un par balle Putain. Et toi, tu me les vends combien 3 Merde. Attends. Je te revois une montre. Merci, vieux. On se revoit plus tard. Bon. Je suis complètement en train de faire le tour. C'est pas grave. Eh, hey, qu'est-ce qui se passe ici D'accord, je j'ai pas pu interrompre le bordel. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods It's a shame he's so narrow-minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influence ouais, the and that. all that's going on, you should put your differences aside, don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. Ouais. Goodbye, Doctor. J'ai plus rien à te dire à toi. Eh, hey, euh, dis-moi. Euh... Good evening. Good evening. Toi. <laughs> Je crois que j'avais totalement fini avec ton truc. Ouais. Goodbye for now, Mr. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? 
Oui, mesdames. Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swanson's ah. office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Ah bah, quand même. Malade, les malades sont... font pardon, baisser la qualité du sang. Les citoyens, soignez-les avec de bons médicaments. Eh, hey, euh, au passage. Dr. Reed. Ouais. Tu savais que. Euh... Oui, d'ailleurs, c'est. Je t'ai déjà demandé tout ça. Well, Dr. Swansea. Not in an aff... How is. Everybody. J'avais pas demandé tout ça. Ouais, oh je m'en fous en fait. Allez, blablabla, 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 blablabla. Allez, merci, Crane. Par contre, tu peux dégager. Voilà, non, tu peux dégager. Tu peux... Voilà, merci. Eh, hey, je sais que je ne te connais pas, mais. Euh... Oh putain, c'est Harry Potter. Ah bon. Ah. Des médicaments. Bah ça dépend. Il a quoi comme maladie? Il est fatigué, d'accord. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Yeah. Okay. Alors, dis-moi un peu plus. Votre regard, je vous ai fait ce. Ah oui. Il est con, lui. Putain. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. D'accord. Pas de souci. Je te, je te laisse euh, tranquille. Parle-moi un peu de toi, mais grave. Tell me about yourself, Mr. I don't want to talk, Doctor. Oh putain. D'accord. Bah c'est bon, bah pas chier. Go, Good evening, sir. Doctor. Tu quittes. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Oui, ça y est, c'est fait. I've heard... C'est fait, c'est fait. Dis-moi... Euh... Parle-moi un peu de toi, là. Not much to say. Putain, mais ils sont tous... Euh... May I... I'm a teacher by profession. Ah bon I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. D'accord. Are you really that rich? Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes. Thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. Intéressant. What do you think of your... I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice. Considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's bothering you? Some of the stuff. Elle aime pas trop l'hôpital. En même temps, euh... hmm. Clay est fatigué également. Récupération pour une santé. Tell me more about your arrival. The ambulance driver was quite rude for a start. Ah mais putain mais l'ambulancier quoi. Miss Hawkins seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. Ah. Bah alors? Bah alors? Tu fais payer des 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 trucs trop chers toi? Hein? Ah c'est pas bien ça. Pas d'accord? I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware. Ouais, ouais, j'ai bien compris. She charged you, 
for a bed. Yes, and I paid without question, considering the urge. Ouais, je vois, je. Okay. J'ai compris. N'en dites pas plus. Je vais aller parler à la bitch. Parce que concrètement, c'est un hôpital. On n'est pas censé faire payer des lits. Euh... Ça c'est Crane. Eh, sauf de sang. Euh, je m'en fous, non Je casse-toi. Est-ce qu'elle se planque celle-là Et lui, il est où Ah, il y a des tips. Les tips, t'as pas. Ah non, c'est. Euh... Good evening. Nurse. Ah non, 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 non t'as C'est pas toi que je cherche. Ah. Te voilà. Good evening, nurse. Good evening. Eh, hey, dis-moi. Euh... Ah bon Ah bon Bah c'est C'est bien toi qui fais payer trop cher les lits Pourquoi je peux pas... C'est quoi ce bordel C'est pas grave. Tant pis. Elle adore se balader celle-là. Allons voir euh, notre cher compagnon. Hey Swan, tu m'as demandé Please, Jonathan, come in. Jean, j'entre ce matin. What the fuck, musique In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be also new to you. Wait. Oh. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We spoke. There is an absurd poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Hey. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. Uh -huh. And you would like me to eradicate this threat. Interesting. I think. Of not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. 
Uh -huh. Pendant que je suis là, on va te piller totalement tout ce qu'il y a autour. Tête de mise en garde. Eh, hey, dis-moi. Uh, J'ai des questions. Uh -huh. À propos de la confrérie, qu'est-ce que tu sais D'accord, et qui blablabla Et blablabla Et blablabla Bah, Blacky Ouais, j'en ai absolument rien à carrer quoi. Prouve mon état. But it will not destroy you. Mm. Must I take a life to live? You are a vampire. You feed, and blood is the sole sustenance that can sustain your immortal frame. And only a living creature contains the nourishment you require. The man we pursued and slew in the canning factory, William. He was a skull, technically speaking. The debate rages as to their classification. Some think them a subspecies of vampire, others something else. Where do... how do... The name means slave. The etymology may indicate that they are a lesser species of vampire. From what I know, vampires tend to despise them. Just for clarity. A skull is easier to eliminate, Jonathan. Even if they remain formidable foes for the unprepared. Vampires. Now, vampires exist beyond the mortal realm. Since I'm the one working for you, what should I know about Pembroke? Well, for many years, we have been the only medical facility in this part of town that people can rely on. We support the community. Where do we stand today? Well, to be honest, we cope on a day-to-day -day basis. The first wave of the Spanish flu last... Ah, j'ai compris. What do you expect? What we need is hope. You... Ouais, tu me dis pas grand chose concrètement que je ne sais pas déjà. Quoi. Bon. Il nous a rien appris de vraiment intéressant pour le coup. Ouais, moi, 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 moi. Eh bah, allons parler à, à la Miss, euh, soi-disant, euh, très gentille. D'accord, elle est là. Elle est là. Bonjour. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. Ah. Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Sin sans âme! <laughs> Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Mm. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but a rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Have any of the patients given... These poor souls have so little left to live for. 
I do my best to ease their pain. Why, the world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. <laughs> I am simply a necessary evil. Je n'ai aucun ce que vous entendu. Pardon my boldness, your ladyship. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. Ah, I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first, prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Bien, madame. Ce sera avec plaisir que je vais vous aider. Dites-moi plus. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Je vois. Oui, j'avoue. If we're dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze. The blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. On va bien contre la violence. Has a tendency to spiral out of control. Je vois un peu ce que tu es, plus ou moins. Who would be so fool? Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. I see, I see. What are your expectations? As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Ça veut dire quoi qu'il est dans l'hôpital? Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Uh... Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Ah bah écoute. Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take mm. care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. Bien, I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. Oui, d'ailleurs, je suis toujours niveau 1 en persuasion. En persuasion, I'll pardon. Obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Comment on augmente la persuasion, du coup Oh putain, mon, mon truc de son, il commence un peu à, à décliner. Ah, ah c'est la fameuse porte. Euh... Ah oui. Ah putain, t'as une chambre pour toi toute seule. Elle est grave grande. Eh, dis-moi, t'es pas un peu. Euh... Eh, je suis docteur. Bitch. Madam, I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? <laughs> <Damn the girl. laughs> Please calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've 
Ouais, tu profites d'Eli, quoi. Bitch. Harriet Jones. Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. What? If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. Nay. You seem to know more about the goings on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's whores or whores. <laughs> they keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Hey. Uh, Je sais pas en quoi m'aider, mais. Uh, oula. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Toi qui est juste en face, tiens. Est-ce que tu saurais par hasard ce qui non d'accord. Ah du tout. Goodbye, Mr. Ham. Eps. Good evening. Evening. Have you heard rumors of underhand dealings? If you want to know what's going on here. You better talk to Miss Jones. She Mais ça, knows je sais. everything, especially what she shouldn't. Tu m'aides pas beaucoup, so, uh, dis-moi. Do you need assistance? I'm fine. Just do something. Quelque chose pour la douleur. Goodbye for now. Pas de que je douleur. Putain. Good evening. Have you heard of any blackmailing? I have no time for mortal games. My secrets are beyond their comprehension, Doctor Reed. Vous êtes toutes, euh, tous plutôt très euh, relou, euh, vous savez. Tell me, Thelma, why do you feel? So um, uh, J'ai déjà vu ça. I'll leave you, Mr. Excuse-moi. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doc. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. What's it doing, Agua? Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. <gasps> tu fais des infidèles idées. Qui t'a dit des infidèles idées? Des inf... Putain, bitch. Voilà. Uh... No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. <laughs> she could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? Why? Oh, en gros, tu m'aideras pas, quoi. Merci, euh, nurse. On va aller voir Crane. Eh bah, remarque. Eh, dis-moi. Euh, il meurt sur des chantages. Ok. Toujours autant utile, toi.
Have you had room? No. <laughs> oh. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. Did you? Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. Well, you've done. Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured, you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince. Why? I have to go now. Bon, 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 bon. Attends, attends, bah, t'as qu'à faire. Eh, hey, dis-moi. Euh... Good evening. Doctor Reed, are you trying to take it? Of course not, Mrs. Goswick. Well, go be curious somewhere else. Oh putain. Oh, une bitch. Goodbye, Mrs. Ouais. Bye bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Bah qui Oui. Tu as un bug Oui. Mais c'est pas ça que je voulais te dire. Euh, tu veux dire quoi Bah. Ah, ouais. Ah là tu vois raison hein Vous avez vu l'heure Vous avez vu l'heure eh, eh vous avez vu l'heure Donc euh, bah écoutez euh, On va parler aux deux dernières euh, infirmières la fois prochaine On finira cette affaire Et espérons il y aura du fight après Oh là là Bon allez sur ce à plus tout le monde c'était Blacky dans Vampire Tchuss